here in the middle of the night, I was actually on a phone conversation when all of a sudden I caught this guy. And again, I was on a phone conversation, so I put him in a little container for the time being. But if I'm not mistaken, and we can tell this by his brown sidings, this is an eastern ribbon snake. And he is very, very pretty. I actually caught him. I was walking up by one of the ditches and I uh, saw him and thought he was a rough green snake and jumped in after him. But uh, it's all right because it was still a pretty, I don't catch these guys very often, eastern ribbon snakes. Uh, so he's really cool. We're definitely going to get some pictures of him because he's a nice looking fella. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Just thought I'd let you guys see this. Yeah, but this is just some shots of this guy in my driveway. I'm trying to get pictures, but that's not really working out for me right now. He's uh, not really cooperating. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some more of this guy. I already got some pretty cool looking ones, so I won't be dissatisfied if that's all I got of him. But yeah, I'll hit you guys up with a release clip afterwards. Or yeah, I'll see you guys then. So since I found him up by the road, and I've been seeing a lot of dead snakes up there recently, I don't exactly know what he was doing, but he didn't appear to be crossing the road, so I'm going to release him on the same side. This is just a little closer to my house and a more away from the road than up there is. So I think I'm going to release him. We have some overgrown kind of vegetable garden-y looking things up there. Uh, Y'all probably can't see him really well, but I think I'll release him up there and he should be able to get there. Maybe make a few good meals out of some anoles and whatnot. And I know we say anoles a lot in here. I don't know where I picked up that habit, but the correct pronunciation is anoles. But it doesn't really matter, so I'm probably just going to continue saying anoles. Just thought I'd get that out of the way, though. But yeah, we're just going to release them up in all this mess. And uh, yeah, I'll see you some other day. Bye bye. All right, I'll see you guys in the next clip. And I forgot to mention, I was on the phone with my friend Sean when this happened. I think I mentioned that. But because he actually was the reason I caught the snake, because I was on the phone with him, and that's why I was outside, uh, I will put the link to his Instagram down in the description. Go check it out. Start or uh, middle section of another Louisiana Herps video. I'm kind of out and about right now, just uh, I'm trying to get some herping in before a friend's party. Uh, it's a really nice day outside, but Davis and I weren't able to go out anywhere big because he has a schedule issue. But uh, I just got finished running a cross-country meet, and so I felt really good. So I came home, and uh, I saw this guy and managed to grab him on my route. This is a large male, uh, Nerodia rhombifer diamondback water snake. I love these guys. As you can see, he's already gotten me on the hand. That's pretty typical of these guys. Um, but yeah, he's a really, really pretty looking individual. And the first one I've caught in a hot second because I've just been kind of in a dry spell after the hurricane and whatnot. Which is, uh, I mean, y'all are saying, Dominic, in your last video, you caught two lifers. Well, uh... That's true, but those were like the only two snakes I caught in that entire like three week period. But uh, it's nice to see that we're on the board today with this beautiful specimen. One of my favorite species, especially of Nerodia. So we're gonna get some photos and then we're gonna let them back down. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Okay, just kind of crawling along is this musk turtle with this crazy lump on the side of his face. Holy, wonder what happened to this guy. Not gonna mess with him too much. He's not pretty enough for uh, individual specimen pictures and whatnot, but uh, still really interesting guy. What is up with that lub? All right, well, we're just gonna let him go, but yeah, a little eastern musk turtle. He's definitely a very old fella. All right, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I'll see you guys in a bit. Next find of the day is this absolutely stunning juvenile plain-bellied water snake. Let's see if I can get him in better light to show y'all guys really how pretty he is. I just kind of saw him slithering around on there and jumped down and grabbed him. But let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he's got this gorgeous red on him and this white, it just pops so much. Wow, look at those scales. This is an absolutely stunning individual. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of pictures. Uh, y'all hear me talk about pictures all the time. Go check me out on Flickr, that's where I post all my pictures. I think y'all will enjoy that. But uh, if my video editor is working the way I want it to by this point in time, y'all will be able to see these pictures in the video. But yeah, look at him, he's gorgeous. And he's so well behaved too. This is lovely, I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, guys, I didn't get any film of the last couple of things really, or I did get, I guess, of the musk turtle, but whoa! Just, just look at that! 
Look at that pattern. Wow, gorgeous. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just release him. Back into the water you go. And he's gone. Where did he go? No one knows. Oh, there he is. Into my shadow. And away. Alright, I'll see you guys with the next trip of the day. Guys, so just up the stream from that other one is a third, or a third snake of the day. This is another little baby Plain Valley water snake with a similar pattern. Uh, let's see. We'll get them into a different light so we can see for certain. But uh, these guys are definitely from the same clutch because of similarities and pattern and whatnot. Uh, but I will compare head stamps to make sure that these two are different snakes and that the one I caught earlier didn't just swim up the stream. But, uh, whoa. Look at these patterns, dude. Wow. I mean, oh, sorry, it's not really showing up. There we go. Look at that, though. That red is gorgeous. I think this guy's a bit smaller. Um, if it is the same snake, then I'll include that in the video. But if not, then you'll get the note right here. There you go. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to just... I'll probably snap another photo or two of this guy, and then we'll see uh, what if he's the same snake or not. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, the head stamps are different. This is definitely a different snake. So I'm gonna get some more photos and then I'm gonna release it back. But they're most definitely from the same clutch. I wouldn't say that this is, ooh, that's really pretty looking. I wouldn't say that this is this year's baby because it's kind of large to be this year's baby for being completely honest. But I guess it could be um, because this is around baby snake season. So I'll get some pictures and I'll let them go. Oh my gosh, that red is beautiful. I love it so much. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, time to release this guy. He was being really, well behaved after I got him to calm down. So uh, we're just gonna let him let go. Bye, dude. And away he goes. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but that appears to be courtship between two sliders. Good for them. Maybe one day I'll catch their babies. See you guys in a bit. Advice for you younger herpers out there, or uh, just new to the hobby. This is what I like to call a clay pit. And you may be wondering, Dominic, why are you holding your four-foot snake hook next to a clay pit? And what is a clay pit exactly? Well, it's that. I think this one gets deep right there. Yeah, oh, oh, look. Oh my God, look at that. I just sank all the way down to my, past my knee because I wasn't paying attention. So this was exactly what I was about to advocate against is stepping on these and you know paying attention when you're around them because you can get very stuck uh, but, uh, yeah, so now I'm very stuck, and I'm gonna have to get myself out of here. I'll see you guys in a bit. <sighs> well, that was, that was, that was fun. So, yeah, that's, a that's a clay pit. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, me, I, I, I also think they're pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna head back in now, guys. I think that'll be all for today. I'll check back in with you guys if I catch something after filming this, but uh, I'm pretty sure I won't. So I'm going to head back in. I'll see you guys in the next clip, whenever that is. Uh, bye. Fourth snake of the day is this another little plain belly water snake. Third one I caught today, but the head stand's completely different. And uh, But it looks so much similar with those bright red splotches. They must all be from the same clutch. And this is the first I've ever seen like this. And they're still in the general similar area, although this guy is a lot further inland than the rest of them have been. So, uh, I'm gonna take some pictures and then we're just gonna set them back down in this roadside ditch. How cool is that? Three snakes from the same clutch. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so this guy is definitely the last snake of the day because I'm heading in with speed now. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Guys, this is Dominic Magida back here with another intro to the Louisiana Herps video. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll see where this is at. I am sucking at editing right now. But so right now I'm out here near St. Paul's School flipping logs. And right here is a little marble salamander. I love these guys. This is the second one I found today. Uh, the one I found earlier was a uh, larger marble salamander, which we've showcased before. And we'll go back and see him in just a second. Look at that guy right there. Adorable. We're going to get some pictures and then we'll put him back. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm gonna put this guy back under his log. Right down there. All right, we're gonna flip this back over gently. 
we're gonna let him be uh, and real quick we're just gonna flip this other one nothing under here all right and uh just wanted to show you guys because we're in pretty close proximity to the uh other one which we find frequently uh let's see walk back this way this way this way take a left turn right under this board there is yet another marble salamander i know this i flipped it earlier and I wasn't going to showcase it because it wasn't a new individual. I mean, we know this guy is under here. We find him here all the time. There he is just chilling. But yeah, look, there's a little marble salamander as well. So you can see these guys are actually quite prominent in this area, which is cool because they're uh, one of the rarer finds for uh, Covington, I believe. I'll see you guys.